Hello everybody, so it's Gary Hallican here, and today we're playing a pretty neat one. At least I hope you will think it is a pretty neat one. Um, we're playing a game called D, or D the Video Game, as it's listed on Steam. Uh, this is a classic old horror game. I remember playing it back in the day on the PS1. I think it was also on the Saturn um, as well, back in the mid-90s there. I remember it being kind of freaky at the time. Unfortunately, it has not aged really well. Uh, you'll see that the resolution is really bad. The graphics are a little wonky. This entire game is made up of FMV sequences. Basically, you move from one FMV sequence to the next. There's very little actual control that you do of your main character. This game is pretty similar in some ways to um, like the birthday party sequence in Resident Evil 7 or the uh, baby sequence in Resident Evil 8. It's kind of that kind of thing where you have to find clues for the next puzzle and so forth. You can actually skip some of the puzzles if you already know the clues, but um, I won't skip anything for you. I will try to uh, show you everything that we can see here. This one is kind of unique because you just get two hours to finish this one. You have to do it in one sitting. There's no saves or passwords or anything. And if you don't finish it in two hours, you get a game over and it just says to try again. There are um, actually a couple different endings you can get with this one. And in this playthrough, we're going to try to go for the 100% complete good ending. So you can get the good ending without getting 100% complete, or you can get the bad ending. Uh, we're going to try to go for the 100% good ending, and we'll see what happens here, see if we can get it. Another interesting thing about this is the main character, uh, her name is Laura, and the company that made this game, you can see her right there, is Laura. The company that made this game treated her as a digital actress, right? So they had the same character star in a couple other games that weren't related to this one, and she was actually playing different characters in those other games because she was supposed to be a digital actress right but you can see here from the intro how the graphics are going to look for this and how bad the resolution is going to be um, this intro actually gives you some hints for some of the puzzles in the game so we will uh, see what happens see if we can get the 100 percent good ending here as far as controls go for this, you just have your inventory and your um, interact button. And you can move Laura, but only to predetermined spots, basically. So, so you press forward and she automatically walks to the next spot and so forth. All right, so we're here on the menu screen. As you can see, there's not really anything to see um, on the menu other than to start the game reason like we said there's no saves or passwords or options or anything it's just a one one single experience here so you might have seen in the intro that the story so far is that Laura's father was a doctor and he shot a bunch of people at the hospital and even though he was having a police standoff at the hospital she is somehow able to just walk right into the hospital so I'm not sure how she managed to do that uh, but you might have seen in the intro that she was in a castle and not in a hospital. As soon as I hit enter, you will see why that is. So here we go. So like I said, here she is just walking right into the hospital, despite the fact that there's supposed to be a police standoff here. Hopefully you can uh, tell what's going on. I know the resolution is uh, pretty bad on this. Somebody who's been to the actual Los Angeles hospital, tell me in the comments if it looks like this. So this is also a game that you can't really uh, fail at. You can't get killed or anything. The only way to fail is to run out of time or to get the 
the uh, bad ending at the end. There's um, one spot in this game that has uh, some quick time events, and that's probably the hardest part in the game. You can't fail it, though. You, if you fail it, you just have to do it again. So uh, we might get stuck there at that part. Like I said, that's the hardest part in the game. Um, but only the one section with quick time events. For the rest of it, basically, you uh, are just on your own to look at stuff. There aren't any enemies or anything except for that one section. You will see what I mean. But here comes uh, a weird transportation blob here. So now we're in the castle. And by the way, we don't know yet why um, Laura's father snapped and shot all those people. But if you can guess what D might stand for, then you might figure it out. All right, we are playing now. So we can hit this and look at our inventory. So we got the watch there. Like I said, we've got two hours to finish it. And other than that, we can turn around and walk to places. If we turn all the way around here um, and go this way towards the door... We will find the first uh, four scarab beetles with, that show Laura some of her memories. And we've got to find all four of those if we want to get the 100% uh, ending. So let's take a look at the first one here. Oh, I think in order to get the beetle, I have to... Walk forward and then walk back. I think it should be there now. Let's try it and see. Nope. I think I have to walk forward and then, then turn around. So like I said, this is made up of FMV sequences, basically. And so you just kind of move between those and it's very slow going too so now if I turn around I think we should be able to get the beetle here Yeah, maybe not. I'm doing something wrong. All right, well, we'll come back to that. So here's our first scare coming up. So basically, like I said, you can only move her to specified points. And every little bit we'll get her dad talking to her. Laura. Laura. This is your father. Laura. Go back. You must not cross over to this side. This is another world born of my own mind. Laura. I think Go that's back. supposed to be a face, but Come like further, I said, the uh, your world will be closed off resolution is so bad. Laura, I'm... Pretty freaky though, right?
Do you remember when these were, you know, state-of-the-art graphics? Let me know in the comments if you're getting scared. So what do you think will happen if I try to walk in front of the wall of spikes here? Like I said, you can't actually get killed in this one, so... So we're good. So like I said, you get a two hour time limit for this, but uh, you could probably beat it in 20 minutes if you could make Laura run. You'll see how uh, slowly she goes upstairs. So there's nothing on that wall, right? So as I try to turn towards that wall, she doesn't even stop. Oh, here we go, is a beetle. So we're seeing memories of from Laura's past here. the wrong button. There we go. Alright, we will use this sheet of paper to uh, figure out what order we're supposed to open the drawers in. So see, that's the only things we can look at from this position. I think we can go over here. Yeah. We need to look in the fireplace.
And I think, let's see, I think this door might be locked. Oh, that's right. I remember now. It's a pretty scary game, right? So what do you think I should do with the sheet of paper? Any guesses? If you solve the puzzles, uh, write down your solutions in the comments. See, there was supposed to be a beetle by the front door there, but we didn't get it. I don't think the beetle's positions are randomized. But maybe they are. Okay, I think that said four, two. Four, two, right? Let's go back upstairs and take however long that takes. Again, like I asked in my previous video, let me know in the comments if you want more talking or less talking. Maybe it makes it scarier if I don't talk as much. So we got four. And then two. There we go. That old staple of survival horror games, the valve handle. Can't have an old school survival horror game without a valve handle. At least you only have to use it once in this one. This one can be a little frustrating because if you accidentally go a direction you didn't mean to go, you've got to deal with the whole animation of getting back to where you wanted to be. That makes good sense, right? That your uh, valve handle would control your spike wall.
you also have to press down to back away from whatever it was you were just interacting with. Okay, 78. All right, 78. That's not how many trombones led the big parade. It was 76 trombones that led the big parade. So let's remember 78. See, she doesn't make any footstep sounds normally. It's only on stairs. I'm going to check back by the front door again. Like I said, there should be one of the beetles by the front door unless they do have random placement maybe they do yeah it must be Also, let me know in the comments if this is putting you to sleep. As far as I know, the compact doesn't really do anything. I think it can show you some hints. But you can only get three hints and then it breaks. Check that out. So you notice his arm going through the wall there. So let's go over here. And we've got this machine. So what number do you reckon do we want it to display? 78, right? So this can be a little bit tricky to do here. So this side, we've got to stop on the 7. Nope, didn't make it. Now once you stop the first one, whatever you stop the second one on, it will move back by however many the first number is. So if I stop it on 8 here, it should move back to uh, should move back eight spaces, right? So we got to stop the first one on seven. Nope, didn't make it. Nope. It can be tricky here. Oh! Close that time.
Really? And then we've got to stop the second one on one so that it will move seven spaces and go to eight. Oh, hey! I didn't even mean to do it! <laughs> I didn't even realize the second one was on eight already. Awesome. I didn't know that would work. All right. So now we head down into the basement. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Oh, no. So you see what I mean here? I pressed forward there. So now I have to back away from the barrel. And then turn to where I mean to go. So like I said, we only get footstep sounds when she's going up and down stairs. But it looks like the floor is made of the same material. So we ought to get footstep sounds at other times as well. Would you go down in this basement? Now, unlike other survival horror games, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to run away or even hit any buttons or anything. She will just automatically jump out of the way of this boulder. So that's not the moment where we have quick time events. Like I said, there's a, are a couple later on. But it means we're not getting back upstairs. So let's head over this way. Okay, so that one's locked. Here's another scare for you. So it looked like we had chicken, rabbit, Chicken, rabbit, deer, horse, it looked like. So let's remember chicken, rabbit, deer, horse.
So chicken at the top, right? Deer at the bottom. So it should be like that. Okay. Oh, I don't think we can tell who these people are here. Oh, we got one of the beetles. I think there's just four beetles total. So Pete Best is not in this game. think any of those have titles printed on them. So I can't just walk to the other door. I have to walk back this direction and then turn and then walk back the other way and then turn towards the door. That's the way to do it. So now let's trudge all the way back to that locked drawer. None of the puzzles in this are uh, really super difficult. It's not like mist or anything. Where do we reckon we should put that? Let's see if that'll fit on the bookshelf.
So there is a uh, D2 that also stars Laura, but as far as I know, that one is an unrelated story to this one. And I've never played that one before. And presumably it's not the same uh, story as uh, D2, The Mighty Ducks. That's not really a horror one. Oh, here we go. Laura. 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 What are you doing? Go back. Now. Stop me. Leave the hospital. Quickly. We tried. We couldn't. The front door was locked. If you do not, you'll never be able to return to your own world. Do you understand, Laura? Quickly. Pretty freaky, huh? Go. All right. We're actually not too terrible far from the end now. I don't know why it repeated that animation again. We must have got some kind of glitch here. There we go. So like I said, we're not too far from the end now. This bit is a little bit tedious, though, because you've got to turn the crank, and every few turns, there will be a new um, doorway open up, but you've got to keep turning around to see. So now we've got to back away and turn around. And so you see there's just a wall now. So we've got to turn the crank again. So I say this bit can be a little bit tedious, but we're actually not far from the end now. <laughs> see what's behind this door so we try to remember that was three cranks after the initial one
right, we'll have to do something about that. We just talked to him just a minute Laura. ago. Laura. Laura. That's 80% of the dialogue in this Laura. game. Laura. Soon I will no longer be the man you know. I can feel my control slipping away. Quickly. Before that happens, you must leave here. I want you, of all people, to be safe from me. Laura, there's nothing I can... Might be more than 80%. Probably 90% of the dialogue in this game is, Laura... We need at least a few more cranks before we get the next door here. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. I think this, let's see here, if this is the one that goes outside, we don't need that one yet. There might be one of the beetles out here. Okay, so this one is Sagittarius. Let's remember that. That one is Aquarius, so let's remember that. Here we go. I think we'll get another beetle here. I hope we didn't miss the first one. It's supposed to be by the front door, I think, but we didn't get it. Very realistic stabbing there. Yeah, I think that was the last one, so I don't know. We might not get the 100%, but we'll still try to get the good ending. It's 
So it's going to take a minute because once we do have the clues we need for the statues there, we've got to cycle around through the uh, with the crank until we get back to this one. So we got another door already. Okay, we got the stained glass window. <laughs> Nothing we can do, I guess. Let's keep cranking. Let me know in the comments if you would like to have one of these in your house. Nope. Like I said it's pretty tedious here. Okay. All right, I promised you some quick time events. So here they come. And it doesn't always register your inputs, I don't think. So we may have to do it a few times. We'll see. Here we go. Nope. I failed it already. But like I said, you can't really fail it. You just fall down the hole and then we have to do it again. Except we have to watch that animation every single time we fail it. So let's try not to. But you can't hit it too soon. I find that when I played through this before, if you hit the input too early, right when it shows up, then you'll fail it too. There we go. Okay, we're good.
All right, we got it. Yes. All right, we got him. So that's actually the only enemy, basically, in this whole game. Okay, so now we've got to crank all the way back uh, until we get outside again. So everybody blames Resident Evil 4 for the quick time events, right? But this had them way before that. I think, uh, arguably, Resident Evil 4 is a better game than this. <laughs> That's not arguable. That's probably the best game. And I will probably play that one sometime on this channel for you. Since it is my favorite. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you would like to see me play on this channel. Let's see, we got a ways to go, I think. I don't think this is the one we want. Okay, that's the one we first came through. So the next doorway should be the pit with the treasure chest. And then the next one after that, I think, should be the one we want. This should be the pit with the treasure chest. Alright, so that's not the one we want yet. Should be this one. Well, it looks like we've been at it almost an hour, so I think we're going to finish in plenty of time. Like I said, you have the two hour time limit for it. Okay. All right.
right, so we've got a telescope. So if we look here, so remember we need Sagittarius and Aquarius, right? So I think uh, this one would be Aquarius, right? That looks like water. Did we freeze up? I hope not. Oh, there we go. All right, light blue. Looks like light blue for Aquarius. So you see the stars there are in light blue. So let's remember light blue for Aquarius. And Sagittarius has the uh, bow and arrow, so I think it's that one. Green. Okay, green for Sagittarius. All right, let's remember light blue and green. Makes sense, light blue for the water one, right? Okay, so Sagittarius should be green, right? It's hard to get the finger right on the button. There we go. And Aquarius should be light blue. There we are. All these old survival horror games have, uh, like, fountains, too, that you have to drain. So now we have to crank all the way back around to get the treasure chest. Any guesses what's in the treasure chest? Put down in the comments if you can guess what's in it. It's going to take a lot of cranks here. So I'll give it, give it a few and then I'll check. Of course, if I pass it, I'll be pretty mad. <laughs>
Let's see what this one is. Mm, oh, we passed it because that's the Knights. Yep, I gave it too many cranks. I think it'd be a, quite a bit of a hassle to have this in your house. Especially if it was like five cranks to the bathroom, you know, and you had to, you had to go, you know. But you were stuck in here until you cranked it around enough times. see this one might be the stained glass window oh nope this okay this is where we started so it should be three cranks from here should be the one we want maybe I didn't go past it Should be it, I think. Okay, what were your guesses? Did anybody guess it would be a gun in the treasure chest? Our first offensive weapon of the whole game. And the treasure chest sank, even though presumably it should be lighter now that its contents have been removed. Oh, here we go. Laura. 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 We are pretty close to meeting up with him. My new self will have need of you. This other self is one I cannot control. Anybody figure out yet what D stands for? Laura, leave here. He wants you. We can't leave now. We're almost, almost to him. All right. I think we're going to need a few cranks here a few spins I'm gonna spin 
No, I'm going to buy a vowel. No, I'll solve. All right, this should be the one that goes outside, so that's not the one we want. Yeah. I think it should be this one. Yep, there we go. Yeah, screw that stained glass window. She definitely wore the right shoes for this. Spooky. Laura. <laughs> Laura. Laura. to me the one who I am to become needs blood for the change to be complete you have seen what he will do and it is your blood that he wants most Laura we are cursed in our veins flows the blood of Dracula did anybody guess that that's what D stood for? D for Dracula. Looks like a dead end. Yeah, I think we missed one of the beetles. Cannibalism. Hmm. 
This is otherwise a dead end, though. What we should notice is, as you've seen so far, Laura only stops at predetermined points. So as we walk back down this hallway, She stops here in the middle of the hallway, so that must mean there's something to see here. If there wasn't, she'd walk all the way back to the end, right? So let's find out. Mm-hmm. There we go. I seem to remember, I think this one is a little bit tricky. Let's see. We want the red dot here to line up. Just that one. There we go. Okay. All right, we're just about to meet Dad here. Reckon that's her mom, I think, that we've seen in the flashbacks.
There he is. Change comes to all of his blood. It starts with lust for the strange. Then comes the desire for human flesh to make the change complete. Sounds reasonable. Yes, Laura. That time came for you as well. I erased the memory so you have forgotten. When Dracula took control of you, with those very hands you killed your mother. It is our That's messed up. Be accursed. And now you know you must leave. I feel myself changing. Most vampires are striped, right? Most vampires look like that, I think. that I need just as you needed your mother's come to me all right we let's not go to him that's how we get the bad ending we get the good ending by doing this cuz for a vampire he kind of goes out like a punk Oh no, what's his last wish? We'll never know, I guess. Are we back in the hospital now? Okay, so that was D the game. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was a different one for some of you. Um, some of you watching probably have not seen this one before, so hopefully it was new and interesting to you. Hopefully you got some scares out of it. I think at the end of the credits it will uh, 
you know, tell us what ending we got. We didn't get the 100% ending. Definitely missed one of the beetles. It should have been there by the uh, front door, but we didn't get it for some reason. So we got the good ending, but I think not the 100% uh, ending. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. Feel free to like and subscribe if uh, you're interested in doing that. And uh, let me know in the comments other games you would like to see, other things you'd like for me to talk about while I'm playing games, that kind of stuff. I'll probably play some other uh, retro ones like this and maybe some newer ones as well. Right? So I hope you got a kick out of that. I'm going to go ahead and wait until the uh, end of the credits here because, like I said, it should tell us which ending we got. And we can listen to the song. Well, like I said, for a uh, vampire who was able to create an entire horror castle with his mind, he uh, kind of goes out like a punk. Also, another issue was that that was clearly like a flintlock pistol. So she should not have been able to fire it twice without, you know, reloading it, right? You know, it have to put in another uh, musket ball and so forth because she fired it once to to uh, destroy the stained glass window and then fired it again at him so I guess maybe we can uh, surmise that it was not a real flintlock pistol because it was you know part of the castle he had created in his mind right so uh, so I guess we can let that slide um, so as you might have noticed there were several parts of this that you could skip if you uh, knew the clues already so for instance um, the drawers if you already knew the number sequence to open the drawers you could get the uh, crank uh, the valve handle sooner um, and if you already knew that the number was 78 for the basement door and then if you already knew the colors for the um, uh, statues then you would never have to go and fight the knight or anything and, and do the quick time events. So so you can skip a few parts of this and get a much faster time even if you know some of the clues. Oh, maybe we did get all the beetles. I guess it's counting that we did get all the beetles. So, so I guess we did all right. That should be the 100% good ending then. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.